Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about yeah, abusing the C++ type system for, yeah, mostly for fun. Uh, one problem that I often encounter is you have, for in this example, uh, a constructor of car. It takes two integers, but it's very easy to mix them up. You get, don't get any warning from the from the compiler or anything if you you mix up the number of seats and number of doors. And I have, and the first solution one comes to me, yeah, we use a type def for the using uh, construct. Does that help? No, it may, might be some good documentation. But it doesn't help because this, this, they're still interchangeable. If we create a wrapper type, if you thought that the previous um, presentation had too few templates, this will be rem remedied here. If we create a type, called, yeah, strict type, we can put in any type as well, and then we have a kind of um, identifier. Here I've only added two, two operators to, for, for this. Um, the uh, two comparison uh, uh, operators. And then I use a hash function to calculate a unique ID for each type. And as you see here, I, um, I, sadly I have to use a macro. I'm not really fond of macros, but uh, in this, uh, if someone is aware of a method of doing this without metrics, please tell me. But how can you use this, this then? Yeah. You define a strict type. You say, yeah, I want a strict type called seats, T, of int, and a strict type of doors, T, you type int. And then you write the, the, your methods as, um, as usual. And when you try it, and if you, by mistake, or like I did here, intentionally um, mix uh, those uh, types up, you get a nice compiler warning. A warning, it's a, not a warning, it's an error. You could probably do like struct and then the name and you know, find it mm -hmm. and then have that one as a this is an alternative version that I actually found someone else did on the internet after I, um, yeah, after I had not finished this, this slide, but I finished my code. And this is almost, I, I would say that this is better because it's more readable. You get a more uh, readable error message. And the interesting thing is that this can be done without any cost if you use the right compiler. I use, I tested Clang, and it's actually the same, uh, it, it creates the same assembly if you do the seats, uh, this, this type, or um, just a plain int. Uh, GCC uh, has also no cost if you, if you use a, suffic a sufficiently new version. Okay. But then we have a other, one other case, if you want to say, uh, set the length of this car. But what does that mean? What's the length? Is it meters, centimeters? If we extend our type, now we have a length type here. And we had a scale, and we use the C++ uh, standard uh, uh, class ratio, we can define these um, or, or units of measurement. It's like meters, centimeters, inch, and feet. And, yeah, and I have here, if you see, I, I use not standard ratio, but ratio, and I uh, made a quick helper function for this. It uh, calculates the greatest common divisor between the, these um, um, 
numerator and denominator. And I really can't understand why this isn't in the standard. Um, there are things that work almost like this. If you multiply two, uh, two ratios, then it gets the shortest form, but not in the... So this is a, just a helper function. And then we can add a template-sized constructor that actually converts between or our uh, types. So, and yeah, I also added a plus operator. And this is sticky math. Just uh, trust me on this one. And then if we add some operators, I I add an operator to output to output this uh, length with a with a standard implementation that actually prints out the ratio and also an override that prints out it in centimeters and then a set length method and then if we call it it will print this so it automatically converts from one unit of measurement to another. Just just one small warning, this code doesn't handle overflows and stuff like that, so you need to be careful about that if you are using. Yeah. Next problem, if, if you have some kind of composite types like an area or speed or power, an area is length times length, speed is length per time, the first time derivative of position, and power, that can be expressed in several ways like um, voltage times current or uh, energy per time. If we now make a larger type, and here I have templatized this unit type on three uh, measurements, or what you call it, length, mass, time, and current. You might uh, remember these from uh, physics. It's the SI units. And otherwise it's the same as before. And by, with this we can do rather cool things. We can define our other types, like area, velocity, energy, voltage, power, and all gets converted automatically. And now we also have uh, multiplication and division. I only show multiplication. Division is analogous, but in, instead of the plus signs here, you get minus signs and so on. And here we also use, I use the uh, ratio <coughs> multiply method. And now we can define all our uses, uh, units, meters, feet, kilometers, miles, and so on. And I also define some um, literal operators. Um, here I, I convert all the long doubles. Have anyone actually used long doubles in real code? Uh, yeah, but I just down convert it to doubles. Uh, for because it, I think they're easier to use. And now I can, uh, yeah, I also, I didn't show my overlay, overloaded um, output operators, but here we can write code like, yeah, I want an area that's three times two and a half meters, and it behind the scenes calculates this I can also put out the area two times uh, two meters times one and a half feet, and it calculates it. And the same for speed or power. Yeah, and that's all. Questions? Thank you. Type to int. When it goes to the first types. 
No, no, there's very, that's very easy to, like, you, you, instead of double, you want to convert it to a watt of ints. Well, well, that it automatically converts back from, from watt to doubles. Uh, you, you yeah. The, the, the cast operator. Yeah, this, yeah, this yeah that, that's, that, I, I think that, that's by design. Okay. So if you want the actual value, you have to use the, yeah, it's just a struct, so the, the value member is public. In, if you wrote actual code, you would write an accessor for it and have the, have the value private. Yeah? Uh, it's a very good idea. I've been thinking about it myself, but mm. now when you have thought about it, have you seen any ideas of moving this into the standard? Or no, I, I actually I only this did this like an experiment for. for I don't know that the first type with the strict types, there is lots of code out there that does more or less the same thing. I think it's there. All, there's something in Boost. Boost yeah. Uh, now, uh, boost, I think there's a strict type in boost. There's also boost units that I've only skimmed through, and that does kind of the same thing, I guess, but in a completely different way. Um, yeah. That's, that was a bit of inspiration for doing the time. They do, they do this for time because they define like milliseconds, nanoseconds, and whatever. Okay. Yeah? Have you looked at the safe numerics library? Uh, no. Do you know what it is? Uh, no. <laughs> I, you can listen to the CPP mm. cast, there is a talk about it. It's about um, handling numerics mm. safely. Yeah. Because in most machines, it's not like yeah. Over yeah. If if you would do this for a real library, you probably would need something like that. Yeah. So this could be instead of using underlying doubles, you could mm. use some safe doubles. Yeah. That would be and it only cool. supports uh, integers, doesn't it? Only. Yeah, I think so. Floats are too difficult to handle. Mm. So maybe you can provide them as a T parameter, safe numeric. Yeah, I think uh, this would probably work for any type you put in there, as long as the, the operations you try to use are defined. You can probably put in a string here, but if you try to multiply two strings, then it would blow up. Maybe it would be good to Yeah, the Yeah, the explicit is for to to avoid the thing that if you have a function that you only write the the num so it won't be implicitly yeah. created. Yes, it could be useful to convert something to ints and use explicitly or some yeah. explicit operator. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. T. T T. Yeah. Yeah. So have you used it in production code? No. Just. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe, 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 I, but I, I would see that one could use, I, I could use something like the, this to actually uh, guard oneself against, yeah, you have a parameter list that's often like maybe up to 10, and it's 10 uh, items long and it's very simple to just mix things up. Yeah. Um, they even crashed the satellite on yeah. it was Mars because they made it error. Mm. Yeah. And I, if you think about th this, maybe primarily old C APIs, but wh when you, I don't know how many times I've mixed up the number of elements and the element size. So that's not quite as large, biggest problem <coughs> in C, but uh, yeah, it's, but that's the. Mm. Uh, <coughs> for this type of uh, issue, uh, not, not the uh, units, there is an excellent library that is, is, is work in progress uh, called TypeSafe by a, a German teenager who uh, calls itself Jonathan, Jonathan Miller. And uh, it is actually brilliant. It's that simple in 
principle, but it, it's uh, super advanced to doing different things. And the, the good thing is that it's so easy to define your own safe types, like strict type there. But also, you can say which operations are permitted on them. Say that you have a, a strict type that is a, a file descriptor. You don't want to do arithmetic on that because it doesn't make sense. But mm -hmm. on some other type, it does make sense to do arithmetic. So you can explain per type what, what, which operations do I want to allow. On it. So I strongly recommend having a look at that library. One cool thing about this is that if the underlying type doesn't support less than, mm -hmm. since you don't, if you don't use it, the compiler never instantiates it, so it's fine. Yep. Yep. Uh, one thing also that you said, uh, GCD is actually implemented in C++ 17. Oh, as a const expert? Yeah. Okay. Don't really, uh, I don't really follow what you're, but you need to use another integer type in. I think it's def I think it's definitely possible to do such things, but maybe not like this. But you, yeah, you define a new limited integer or something, and then you overload all the operations and have checks. This is actually the same library when hmm. you have two chars and they are 20, 50 bytes, 20, 50 bytes. If you write auto hmm. recite, you will have a new type because that it fits in. But that's not the same thing because that takes the limit from the underlying type. This is the custom limit, isn't it? Yes. That's mm. what yeah. Said. There was a post on Reddit uh, like two weeks ago uh, yeah. about that. Okay. Those. Thank you.